now to an issue in the national news that got a fair amount of attention recently on this broadcast and on the web. African American women and where they stand in this country. We recently did a series of reports on this topic. It got a huge response from a lot of our viewers, touched on a range of issues that could play out during this election season. Tonight, there's more news on this same front. The National Urban League has just issued its annual report on the state of black America. NBC's Rahema Ellis takes a look at what this latest report says about African American women and where they stand. Well, what did you use to get the answers out of? Elena Harris struggles every day, raising her two teenage boys by herself in a tough New Orleans neighborhood where she lost everything following smaller, Katrina. Smaller, smaller. Now she works two jobs, earning just enough to make ends meet. I can't focus on the fact that it is a struggle. I just take it one day at a time. Harris is like many black women across the country who are the focus of this year's Urban League report on the state of black America jobs, housing, access to health care, an educational achievement gap across the board, you still see disparities, the widest being in the field of economics. Among the report's findings, African American women, more than white or Hispanics, are raising children on their own. They are 6% of the workforce, but make up 14% of those earning between $15 and $30,000. Black women head of households have been disproportionately hard hit by the subprime mortgage crisis. According to the report, they received 42% of all mortgages in the black community, where more than half of the mortgages issued were subprime. Another finding, the number of businesses owned by black women is skyrocketing, a record 147% in nine years, compared to 24% for everyone else. Amber O'Neill, a former marketing executive with an MBA, is one of the new business owners. She opened a fitness company. When you're kind of running your own business and things don't go right, you're like, mm, luck of the draw, I just, I, I made a bad decision. And race and gender no longer become a, an issue. Something many black women say they hope their daughters may one day take for granted. The president of the Urban League praised black women, saying they are constantly surmounting obstacles and are in many ways responsible for some of the slight gains in black America. But he added, when black women hurt via jobs, housing, and health care, the black family suffers, Brian. And it's part of everything we're talking about this year. Rahima, thanks as always.